So watch these ones here. See how they're rotating? Damn. What do you reckon? Pretty good. A robot is a machine that's able to do different human-like activities. That is cool. <laughs> Mr. Antonio Cameraman. I think you got a haircut, mate. Wow, guys, I really feel like Joe Biden. Hi, George. Hi, I'm Cooper, and today I'm going to be teaching George about robots. Hi, my name is Cooper, and I like rugby league and basketball, and I'm here to study robots. Tēnā koutou, My name is George Stilwell. I'm a senior tutor here, Mechanical Engineering Department at UC, teaching our next generation of engineers. I think the stereotypical robot resembles a human, is able to do human-like things. A robot is a mechanic with lots of buttons, engines and batteries. What are some robots that you can think of? Bumblebee from Transformers. Have you ever used robots in school? We used moving around one in after school program. We created it with buttons that could make the legs move, make it move on its own when you press it down. My dream robot would be a big one. It would do all the stuff my mum says. Make my bed, do the dishwasher, water the garden. What would you do while robot people was doing that stuff? Chilling. Hi George. Okay, how's it going? Good. What is a robot? Well, a robot is a machine that's able to do different human-like activities by itself. It might be picking up stuff, and if it was like processing food, it could be chopping things. They'll just do different functions that humans... That is cool. <laughs> See, so watch these ones here. It's gonna connect. See how they're rotating? That would be... It's gonna get the ball. After. Oh, you have to watch and see. Dude, I knew it. They couldn't do the maze. It's pretty speedy. Damn. What do you reckon? Pretty good. <laughs> so programming is kind of like uh, just giving your robot instructions of what to do. Robots have eyes through cameras. We have a brain, but there's electronic chips that will be the robot's brain. Robots would have like actuators. What is an actuator, George? is something that is going to move or rotate. This here is a robot arm, and each of these kind of joints are different rotational actuators that it can do. Got any ideas what that one there might be for grabbing? Cup. Yeah, perfect. So if it needs to grab a cup, then it'll grab that different hand attachment, grab a cup out, and put it on here. Look at this. Look at all the 3D printers. Whoa. Look over on the wall. You see on the shelf all the different robots? Patrick and Spongebob. Yeah, so these robots, they are meant to compete in the Robo Cup. So see all the wheels and stuff, they're 3D printed. And we've got these little actuators here that rotate things, right? What happens when you go for a run? Sweat. Yeah, you get hot. So they have a fan there to keep that robot cool. How confident do you feel that you are going to be able to make an amazing presentation about robots? I feel like I'm going to do an 8.3 out of 10 and I must include adjectives, nouns, verbs, adverbs, and make it sound interesting. Went really well. Cooper was pretty interested in different kinds of robots and it's got a good eye for detail. My tips would be just start simple, make sure it's really clear what a robot is and kind of why they're helpful. Did you hear that, Cooper? Heard it. What are the main things that you remember from your interview with George? Actuators, programming, that's it. So do, we, do you think we need to do a bit of research? Yes. How are you feeling about your slide, Cooper? I feel like I'm pretty confident in showing George. He's probably gonna be surprised that I will remember it and yeah. Do you think he's gonna be proud? Yeah. Mr. Antonio Cameraman. Seen you got a haircut, mate. Wow, guys, I really feel like Joe Biden. Hi, George. Hi, I'm Cooper, and today I'm going to be teaching George about robots. 
The robot is a special type of machine, but they all have special functions. Function means the things that something can do. This means that we can make robots do special jobs for us. Bumblebee and Optimus Prime from the Transformers are example of robots, but there are actual robots that we use in real life too. Robots are everywhere now. I even used robots at school once. They have to be programmed by someone really intelligent like me. It's like you are the boss and you give it orders, like I do to the United States. Robots have lots of special parts that help it work. They have things called actuators, which are joints that let things move. They sometimes have cameras that are like eyes to let the robot see. They are powered by electricity and batteries. Some are able to move because they have wheels or legs. One really cool thing robots can do is dangerous jobs. That way humans don't have to do them. For example, imagine the Earth was being attacked by aliens. The army could use robots instead of people to protect the United States. If I could make any robot, I would make a robo boy. It would be my assistant when I'm practicing sports. It would get my rebounds when I'm getting buckets. To make the robo boy, we would need actuators to let it move, cameras for eyes, fake robo boy skin for skin, jet so it can fly, microphones for ears, speakers for a voice. Robots are really interesting and an important part of the world. Thanks for listening. Bye. It's an amazing presentation. You seem to have learned a lot. I was impressed that you only put it together in one day. There were some really epic pictures and explanations in there. Yeah, basically I like learning about robots. What did you learn that was interesting about robots that you didn't know already? Actuators. Actuators, yeah. So you did some pretty good explaining of the key words, which is nice so that people understand. But yeah, nah, well done. Hey you, yes you, subscribe below.